Hey, what's up? I'm PRP3, the author, or Paroso Park the Third. You might recognize my name from my book covers if you're one of my readers or fans, and you've been following along on my journey with me. If you don't know me, and this is the first time we're meeting, I have six books and I'm working on my seventh. My books are available as paperbacks and ebooks, but they're not available as audiobooks. And I'm finding now that people are contacting me and they're asking, when are your audiobooks coming out? They want to listen to them. They, they want to be able to hear them when they're on a job site or when they're commuting or when they're jogging. So seeing how I do everything on my own from start to finish to get the book into your hands because I'm an indie author or an independent author, I decided that I would also narrate my own books which is no easy task, especially for a novice like me. And um, narrating a book means more than just speaking into your built-in microphone on your computer and then hitting upload. Your audio tracks need to be formatted and they need to meet certain technical requirements to make for good quality. And for myself, I needed to get equipment to ensure that I am meeting the technical requirements and my sound quality would be a little bit better. So I had to get things such as a microphone, pop filter, scissor arm, um, headphones, a vocal booth with a stand. I had to get um, a good audio program. I also needed to find a quiet space and a quiet time to do this because your microphone will pick up any noise for the, for the surrounding 10 miles, it seems like. So I narrate at night when my family's asleep. And so what I want to do now is just share with, share with you what narrating a book actually looks like. So let's go ahead and have a look and see how I go about it. Prologue, Lords and Ladies Chamber, Castle Mount Valen, Kingdom of Calavallon. King John Dallasai That was pretty fun, wasn't it? Me and my element creating. As you saw, it's not the easiest work. It's time consuming. And, you know, even your throat can get coarse over all that talking because when you're trying to put down a track, that's a whole chapter and that could take a long time because you need to get it perfect because you want your reader to have the best experience. I was actually reading a selection from one of my books to create an audio sample for prospective buyers so they could hear what they're about to purchase. And having the sound equipment instrumental in what I'm doing, but so is having the kind of computer I have and having the audio program I have. And the computer itself is a touch screen, which is great because it's quiet. If you hear me now, I don't know if you're picking it up, but that's the mouse scrolling. And that's the mouse clicking. And I don't want the reader to hear that in the audiobook because it's distracting and it takes away from their experience. And they probably wouldn't finish the book. You know, they don't, they don't want to keep on hearing clicking, clicking, clicking. So the touch screen is perfect. Also, the program, Audacity, it's great because, you know, if you do click, you, you can always go through the track and cut it out. And I found the pause button was paramount because when I first started, I didn't know about the pause button. I just record and I would try to read as much as I can, as perfectly as I can. And then I would mess up around the near the, the end of the chapter and I would have to stop and delete the track because I didn't want to stop the track and record. The, uh, a new track and try to splice it together later because I don't want to go through all that work I just want to have one track one audio per chapter done so being able to pause was perfect because I could stretch I could take a break I could practice the the next lines I'm reading uh, I could refresh myself 
and it, it saved time because I wasn't deleting all the tracks I was doing like I was before. So that was a look into how I narrate and I hope to be able to create more behind the scenes videos like this and about the other aspects of what I do as an author, you know, about typing, um, making the ebooks, the paperbacks, and you know, who knows what other behind the scenes type of videos I can create for you. And I'm happy to be able to do this because I think it's pretty cool to see what goes on with an author to get that book to you. You know, you get the book, you read it. Okay, cool. That was all right. But then, you know, you don't actually know what it's like, like to actually type, to actually create the content. And it's, it's all, it's a lot of work to get, you know, a lot of work and effort to get you that book so you can read it, you know. And I think that would probably give you a, a new kind of appreciation for what authors do, you know, and and not just indie authors, you know, even other authors may do this, they may not do this, they, you know, there's other people in the industry who do this for a living, like narrate, and you might not think about what it's like to, you know, to get that book for you. Well, it, it's a process. It's, it's a long process, but it's a rewarding and fun process, and I'm happy to share it with you. So that's it for this one. I appreciate I appreciate you watching my videos and reading my books. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, I'm glad that I can do this for you. And I hope that I'm entertaining you. And that's my goal is to entertain people by creating content, the books and videos. And I hope that, you know, you enjoy the stories. Let me know. Hit me up on social media. You see it on all over my website. And before you leave, don't forget to like and subscribe. That way you can get more content as it's um, created.